Let's uh, hear from New York, uh, from Rabbi Visrael David Weiss, with whom, if I'm not mistaken, I once traveled into Gaza. Rabbi, what are the root causes of the current conflict uh, between Israel and Gaza? Uh, with the help of the Almighty, I pray to the Almighty to bestow upon me his truth and wisdom that I may convey his message and so sanctify his name and shall I bring peace to the world. Um, the root cause is clearly because of the uh, introduction of a political uh, uh, ideology called Zionism. It's a nationalist movement. It's uh, masquerading in a religious name, Israel and the uh, Star of David and so forth, but it, it is a totally flawed a material movement, uh, selfish people who wanted to create their own haven, their own sovereignty, and they're using the religion to create it. That is the root cause of so much hate, strife, bloodshed, and rift between Jews and Muslims. And it's very clear, it's not an opinion, the, uh, our history attests that Jews and Muslims live together in harmony for hundreds and hundreds of years in every Arab and Muslim land, clearly identified as religious Jews amongst clearly Muslim people, and there were no human rights groups or necessary or uh, United Nations, whether it was in Yemen, Tunisia, Egypt, Morocco, uh, Iran, we lived together. Uh, I bring a lot of times pictures with me. We have pictures I always like to show how we lived together as brothers. We were able to um, uh, so we live our lives together, we babysat each other's children. This is the way Jews were prior to the introduction of Zionism. Recently, the Palestinian flag, even the kafia, has been said by the authorities and their apologists to be uh, equated with terrorism, even anti-Semitism. Is the Palestinian flag really anti-Semitic? God forbid. A Palestinian flag is the flag of the people of Palestine, the indigenous populace who have a flag, as all over the world people have flags to represent themselves. The flag of Palestine would actually be the flag of the, uh, the Muslims, Christians, and Jews, and we would be continually uh, uh, developing and growing and flourishing you lost your grandparents, many of your relatives in the Holocaust. How do you feel about Israel using the Holocaust as justification for what they are doing now? That is just like a, the Nakba, this terrible catastrophe of this occupation, has many links to this sorrowful chain that's called the Nakba. The killing of Palestinians, the uh, uh, the abuse of all the Palestinian people, the abuse of the Jewish people that they uh, that they murder and assassinate the Jewish rabbis that they beat and so forth that we'll get into later. At the same time, they they breach the laws of the Torah and they use different ploys to legitimize their occupation. They use anti-Semitism as we've spoken of before, and they use the Holocaust. Will we? still living and breathing, thank God. We remember my grandparents, um, um, my aunts and uncles, my first cousins, because I'm over 60, I had first cousins who were murdered by the Nazis, both from Poland and from Hungary. And they and uh, the, the, the vast majority of all our communities died. And they died, why? Because we are Jews and we, and we, uh, uh, and we want to, be, we are subservient to God and we want to uphold our religion, our Judaism. Now, and we were ready to die for that. There were Jews who were, were ready, didn't want to drop, give their children to Christian homes. They said, rather we die because this is our life, is to serve God according to our religion. Now the Zionists come and they want to, for their convenience, in order to uh, intimidate others, to silence anybody to speak up against them, they take this suffering of the Holocaust that would just recently, the blood is still fresh, we died millions of people, they take this issue and use it as a tool to further their uh, occupation, their crime. 
There are increasing numbers of uh, demonstrations, manifestations of all kinds of support for the Palestinian people, but the authorities and their mouthpieces brand these as expressions of support for terrorism, for anti-Semitism. Is that going to work? For many years, tens of years, the Zionists enjoyed the control of the microphone and they, were, and they put pressure on the media that they should give the narrative like they want to say, that it's anti-Semitic and um, uh, whoever opposes them and, th and that they're the voice of Judaism and that it was a land without a people and for a people uh, without a land, that they and, and the only reason that people are objecting to them being there is because uh, there's actually, it was an empty land, and there's just people who are anti-Semitic and Palestinians and coming, running around, looking to, to bother the Jews. Not that we took their homes or their, their, their towns. They, don't, they, they ignored all the true history, and, um, and they had control of the mic. Today, we have so many different opportunities of uh, 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 alternative media that the world should be aware of what's happening. Therefore, I think that the people, many, most people in the world have a look for justice and, and have compassion. How long can Israel go on doing this? And what should the so-called international community be doing about it? Well, let me just add, yeah, again, we plead with the world that the, 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 at the doors, the gates of Gaza, they're standing now uh, uh, amassed the Israeli army, uh, 300,000. And so we plead with the world, recognize, have respect for the Jewish authorities around the world, true to Judaism, and do not commit this colossal crime. Do not murder the victims, the Palestinian people. It's enough for, for these um, for these last um, 75 years, and the Jewish blood that kept on pouring all because of Zionism. Don't be fooled by Zionism. Don't invade the people of Gaza. Instead, look at the true solution, which is removal of the true impediment to peace, which is this illegal, illegitimate, and selfish occupation, which stopped our coexistence of peace. And that God should help it should happen sooner nowadays. Mm -hmm.